Hello. The topic of this session is to draw an anatropous ovule. Anatropous means an inverted ovule. The important parts of an ovule are nucellus, chalaza, embryo sac, micropyle, integuments, funicle. Let's start. Ovule is a megasporangium. Each ovule starts as a small projection from the placenta. Initially, the ovule consists of parenchymatous tissues called as nucellus and this nucellus will be attached to the placenta by a stalk called as funicle. So, let's draw that initial phase nucellus. For that, we have to draw a oval shape. Again, very faint line because later we will be clearing certain lines and uh, drawing the, giving the final outline. So, this is the nucellar region and it will be connected to the base of placenta by a stalk. Let us give it like this, stalk called as funicle. So, this is a stalk called as funicle. Okay. So, this entire region is nucellus. Now, later as development progresses, the base of nucellus, this region, this region is called as chalaza. And later, the chalaza will start forming two integuments, an outer integument and an inner integument. So, from chalaza, integuments develop. This is the outer integument. This is the outer integument on the right side. Now what has to be done? These lines can be cleared. So let me clear these overlapping lines. Now the inner integument also forms from the chalaza and it joins here like this. So, inner integument clear all these extra lines. Now, make this line much more clear. You can see a gap between the inner integuments. This gap is called as a micropyle. What is the use of a micropyle? This is the area through which the pollen tube enters into the embryo sac to release the pollen grains. So here there should be an embryo sac and embryo sac is oval in shape. So let's draw this oval shaped embryo sac here. Now this part of the embryo sac near to the chalazal area is called as chalazal region and this part of the embryo sac close to the micropyle is called as the micropylar region. Now what is there in the chalazal and micropylar region of the embryo sac? It has cells. Now in the chalazal area you can find three cells. They are called as the antipodal cells. What happened to antipodal cells after fertilization? They will degenerate. Now, what are these dots? These dots represent nucleus. Now, what is there here in the micropylar region? There also, there are three cells. One, two and three. Now, what is there in these three cells? These two are called as synergids that also will degenerate after fertilization. And this center one is actually the egg cell. So, this entire a group of three cells, it's called as egg apparatus because right in the center there is an egg. Okay. Now, what is there in the center of the embryo sac? There are two nuclei, they are called as the polar nuclei. Okay. Let us uh, give some shading for these uh, parts. You can use your pencil to do the shading. This is the inner integument. This is the outer integument. Make the lines clear and darker.
This is the funicle. It meets the nucellus at this point and it forms a ridge and that ridge is called as the raphe. Now let us shade even that because uh, in an anatropous ovule the funicle is very closely attached to the wall of the ovule. So we don't have to leave this space. So that ha can be shaded neatly. So just shade using your pencil. Darken the lines. The stalazal area can be represented by a circular shaded area and you can even show or give some dots to show that they are all consisting of living cells. Even the new cells is also made up of living cells. So just put some dots to represent this area and show that they are all living. Definitely all the cells are living. So this is the diagram of an anatropous ovule. Even this part also can be made darker. This is the embryo sac. I hope it is clear. Now let's start labeling. This is the raphe. The ovule is fused with the funicle and forms a stalk. This is the embryo sac which has three antipodals in the chalazal area and an egg apparatus in the micropylar area with two synergids and one egg cell. In the center it has two polar nuclei. The outer integument and inter in integument these two are for protection of the embryo sac. Funicle is a stalk which attaches the ovule with a placenta and this is the nucellus region from which all these parts are being formed. So this is an anatropous ovule which is inverted. Hope you like this.